One of the most fundamental inquiries in the field of cosmology pertains to the age of the universe, apart from its origin. Hello everyone, welcome back to Z. In this video, we'll attempt to see if the universe is older than we thought. Subscribe to our channel and follow us. We once believed we knew its age to be 13.8 billion years, but that was only recently established. A brief period in time passed when the steady-state hypothesis of the universe dominated scientific discourse. Some astronomers including Fred Hoyle persisted in their pursuit despite the mounting evidence supporting the theory of the Big Bang. In essence, the steady-state universe resembled that of an immortal one, in which the universe has existed in a state essentially identical to the present one for all time. Perhaps its age was indefinitely prolonged due to the perpetual generation of new matter. Although the notion of an eternal universe devoid of a point of origin is not new, it is the subject of a peculiar tale. While certain ancient and contemporary religions, including those of the Romans and numerous others across the globe included creation narratives, this does not imply that the universe was devoid of age due to a lack of dating evidence. However there are additional circumstances. Sigur of Brabant proposed in the 13th century that the universe had no origin, a notion that, as you might expect greatly infuriated the Pope. Without a beginning, there can be no creation. And this is where things become peculiar, because science once progressed in the exact opposite trajectory observed today. Even Einstein initially considered the possibility that the universe was inert, but later changed his mind when his theory ceased to correspond with observations. The investigation of redshift in astronomy, spearheaded by Vesto Slipher and Edwin Hubble, resulted in an unusual turn of events in which Father George Lemaitre, an astronomer and Catholic priest, proposed the Big Bang Theory, despite being slightly embarrassed by the fact that it fit his theology somewhat. Let there be light in all. In this manner, the confirmation that the universe had an age caused a cleric embarrassment due to the teachings of a heretic from the 13th century. It is currently established that the steady-state model is flawed, and this is evident on multiple levels. The expansion of the universe, the evolution of stars and their changes over time, and evidence such as cosmic microwave background radiation and others that are difficult to explain without a Big Bang are all visible to us. There are simply an excessive number of consistent data points that support it, while there are very few that do not. However, this does not imply that Big Bang cosmology is devoid of problems, in fact, the age of the universe is one of them. Before the James Webb Space Telescope mission commenced, it was widely accepted that the universe was 13.8 billion years old, supported by numerous lines of evidence. Six extremely early galaxies, estimated to be between 500 and 700 million years after the Big Bang, are too large for our models, according to recent Webb research. These galaxies are enormous and highly developed when they ought to be considerably more primitive in appearance. This has been referred to as everything from a cosmological crisis, which it is not, to the mere suspicion that the formation of galaxies could occur more rapidly than previously believed. An alternative explanation could be a misinterpretation of the data, however, additional scrutiny may reveal a different picture, the situation is still nascent. Although these galaxies with extreme redshifts are likely real and raise significant concerns for the field of cosmology, they have also prompted some scientists to begin speculating that the redshift may be incorrect or that the age of the universe may be grossly underestimated. Even more unconventionally, it is estimated to be 26.7 billion years as opposed to 13.8. Although this does not constitute a crisis, it has generated considerable controversy in the field of cosmology. With good reason as well. Presumably, this is not the situation. In regard to the Big Bang paradigm, scientists postulate the following. The first is the validity of general relativity. Our current best theory regarding the behavior of gravity is this, which has been substantiated in numerous ways. It has repeatedly demonstrated its ability to reliably forecast in the normal universe. Despite the fact that it fails in environments such as the interior of a black hole, we are aware that it is incomplete, 
nevertheless, it provides accurate results. Similarly, the manner in which our particle physics models define the three forces of nature other than gravity is identical. While there are indications that a fifth force might exist, it is highly probable that it resides within this domain, as that is the location of the cues. Once more, however relativity fails to hold true at the quantum level. An additional fundamental premise posits that the universe remains essentially unchanged in all directions. No unique position does our group hold within it. No matter where you are, the fundamentals will necessarily remain the same. However the final one is a significant assumption, dark matter, which may or may not be an unidentified type of particle. Furthermore, there are additional foundational assumptions, such as the notion that the laws of physics operate identically everywhere in the universe, as observed in distant galaxies. To say the least, in the main. The significantly longer age of the universe is estimated on the basis of a theory developed in the 1920s by astronomer Fritz Zwicky. It is referred to as, tired light, and it challenges a fundamental tenet concerning the characteristics of light. Light can not only be influenced in a limited number of ways by space, but it can also experience energy loss, fatigue, and extension to longer wavelengths over distance. This results in an apparent significant redshift, which calls into question our current estimates of the universe's age. In this context, the notion is that while redshift and fatigued light both exist, they interact to produce a situation that misinterprets our measurements. However, further research is required to validate the 28 billion year estimate proposed in a recent paper by astrophysicist Rajendra Gupta. The inclusion of physical constants that vary with time is also necessary. This would allow for the existence of galaxies that occurred earlier, thus providing an explanation for the discrepancy observed by JWST. In actuality, however, the more plausible explanation is that our comprehension of the evolution and formation of galaxies is incomplete, and that this occurs at a higher rate than our models predict, thus, the models are inaccurate, or at the very least, erroneous. This is quite literally a possibility. Simultaneously, it is beneficial to recall the cosmological pushback toward the Big Bang theory, for which the steady-state hypothesis was essentially the consensus at the time. It was utterly erroneous, so it might be prudent to reconsider discarded hypotheses such as worn-out light so as not to overlook anything. Furthermore, should it prove accurate and the universe indeed be 13.8 billion years older than previously postulated, it contradicts a substantial body of observational evidence. This includes evidence from the CMB and supernovae, measurements of the rate of expansion of the universe, and galaxy distribution, among many others. One of the criticisms directed towards the new estimate was its exclusive reliance on supernova data. It is critical that all observations be incorporated into any alternative theory to the prevailing consensus regarding the age of the universe. It possesses legs only when all elements are consistent. This implies that in order for your theory to be credible, every aspect of the universe, from the minutest particles to the most massive structures, must be in agreement. This can be illustrated by observing an apple without any prior knowledge of its identity. You might observe a person or animal consume an apple and suffer a myocardial infarction while doing so, consequently, you might conclude that apples are toxic. Unknown are circumstances such as apple pastries, the fact that apples are consumed by millions of people around the world due to their nutritional value, and similar facts. Were you cognizant of this, the voluminous data set would have compelled you to acknowledge your erroneous interpretation and urge you to explore alternative sources for the origin of the phenomenon you initially identified as poisoning. However when viewed holistically, taking into account all available data and observational evidence, one can conclude that apple consumption is beneficial for cardiac health in general. One can most likely be approaching the truth when all aspects align with one another. However the issue with the worn-out light concept is that it ought to be apparent in numerous methods. The initial quotation is attributed to its progenitor Fritz Zwicky. Although he recognized a flaw in his own theory, he nevertheless put it forth in an effort to spark debate. Zwicky came to the realization that the light would become fatigued and expend energy if it failed to interact with anything in the immense expanse of space. When you do so and incorporate it, in addition to redshift, you obtain an additional effect. 
The notable attenuation of detail in remote galaxies, such as not discernible through observation. Redshift alone is visible. But an additional concern arises. Dilation of cosmological time ought not to be observed. It is. As a result, extremely distant redshifted objects appear to experience cosmological time dilation, which causes the perception of time to appear to pass more slowly. It has been observed that objects such as supernovae in distant galaxies appear to unfurl over time in a more stretched manner as their redshift increases. Additionally, drowsy light is eliminated, as the result would be altered. However, they pale in comparison to a far more significant and fundamental concern. The afterglow of the Big Bang, known as cosmic microwave background radiation, is still visible. Light was first visible to us approximately 380,000 years after the big explosion. It is obviously significantly redshifted as a result of the expansion of the universe. Light redshifting due to the expansion of the universe preserves its blackbody spectrum, which is a known effect. The CMB displays this even though it would not if fatigued light were accurate, in fact, it is the most flawless blackbody spectrum ever recorded. Combined with additional contradictions observed in the quantum realm, the outcome is that exhausted light fails to explain numerous, diverse, and autonomous observations of phenomena it cannot predict or explain, in fact, the opposite is true. To return to the inquiry posed in the title, is the universe older than previously believed? Unlikely, but that is science and conclusions can be erroneous. It is a process of revision, but based on observations from multiple fronts, the age of the universe is overwhelmingly likely to be 13.8 billion years. But that raises an additional inquiry. Considering the universe's projected existence for trillions of years and the presence of exceptionally long-lived stars within its confines, one may question the extraordinarily early emergence of life, which we symbolize. If life is uncommon, then it not only appeared on Earth at the earliest possible moment, but it also did so within a few billion years on average in the universe at large, which further refutes the notion that we may be alone. Alright folks, this video ends here, thanks for watching. What are your thoughts? Is the universe older than you thought? Tell us in the comments and subscribe to the channel for regular, in-depth investigations of the strange, intriguing and unknown facets of the phenomenal universe in which we live.